Hello, I'm Patrick Stewart, and I am doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. You know, you've seen it before, so you know what it is. Who is Patrick Stewart? I am. Who is Patrick Stewart married to? My wife is called Sunny Ozell, O-Z-E-L-L, -L, and she is a wonderful wife and a fabulous singer. Who is Patrick Stewart's best friend? The commonly known friendship that I have is with Sir Ian McKellen, whom I've worked with many times and who, I'll be frank with you, I'm in love with. But then, so is my wife in love with him too, so that's all right. Who? Patrick Stewart's Yorkshire poem. I think I know what they may be referring to. I grew up in the north of England in the West Riding of Yorkshire, which meant that I spoke with a Yorkshire accent. But it wasn't just an accent, it was actually dialect, which means that you're not just mispronouncing words, you're using different words altogether. So I'll give you a little example. I was sitting by Arsenal last evening. My mother and father were off, because they'd heard that my old Aunt Susanna were laid up in bed with a cough. West Riding dialect. Who is Patrick Stewart? Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. I think Jimmy Neutron was a character in a film that I played, but I don't know. Give me another. Is Patrick Stewart British? Yes, I am British. I'm actually an Englishman born in the county of Yorkshire. Is Patrick Stewart vegan? No, I'm not. I think I have an excellent diet with many of the right kind of healthy things, but no, I'm not vegan. Is Patrick Stewart left-handed? No. Well, I wonder why you would ask that. Is Patrick Stewart a nice guy? I don't know. Shall we put it to the vote? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of us in this room. How many say yes? It's almost unanimous. Seven of the eight said yes. I'll talk to you later. Is Patrick Stewart related to Martha Stewart? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. No, I am not related to Martha Stewart, but I have met her several times and I adore her. Is Patrick Stewart related to Kristen Stewart? Uh, no, I'm not. But Kristen and I, of course, worked together. We were both in the remake of Charlie's Angels, and I liked her very much, and I've admired her work for a long time. How Patrick Stewart stays in shape? Well, that's a very timely question, because I have over my lifetime, had trainers and worked in gymnasiums. When I was a teenager, I played a lot of sport. I did get into really serious trouble with my athletics coach at the school I went to because I was taking part in a rather important sports event and I was a sprinter. But that evening, I had a performance on stage and I realized if I went through to the final, I was going to miss my stage performance that night. So I threw the race, and I got into so much trouble. How did Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen meet? 20th Century Fox invited us both to be in a, a little hardly known series at all called X-Men. We had adjoining trailers. When you're in those kind of movies, you spend more time sitting in your trailer than you do in front of the camera. So Ian and I hung out together, drinking tea, and later in the afternoon, maybe something a little stronger, and we got to know one another, and the charm of it was that we found we had so much in common. And by the way, he married us, my wife and me. He performed the ceremony. Isn't that wonderful? How did Patrick Stewart become a knight? I don't know the answer to that question, but that evening I did call my wife and I said to her, oh, hello, is that Lady Stewart on the line? Because, of course, my wife has got a title also now, being married to a knight. She went with me and my brother and sister-in-law to the palace ten years ago, and I was dubbed on both shoulders with a sword. Yes, that is actually how it happens. The queen has a sword in her hand, and she does this, and says, Arise, Sir Patrick. How old was Patrick Stewart, Star Trek? Forty-seven when I was offered the part. I think it was about 60 when I stopped being Jean-Luc Picard, but of course, I'm back 
being the same character again now, so the show goes on. Now, how did Patrick Stewart and Seth MacFarlane meet? <laughs> Seth is a huge Star Trek fan, and uh, I had enjoyed his work for a long time. And then he asked me to play a role in his animated series, American Dad, and I play the deputy head of the CIA, and his name is Bullock, and he's a wonderful character, an appalling creature, but a wonderful character to play. Was Patrick Stewart in Harry Potter? That's such an unkind question. No, I was not in Harry Potter. I wasn't even asked to be in Harry Potter so that I could arrogantly turn it down. But every other actor that I know and that I'm close to was in Harry Potter, except Sir Ian McKellen. That's what's made us famous, that we weren't in Harry Potter. Was Patrick Stewart knighted with a, with a Klingon sword? Her Majesty the Queen doesn't possess a Klingon sword. Well, actually, she might, I suppose. Uh, no, no, there was no Klingon weapon involved in any of that. Was Patrick Stewart in Excalibur? Yes. Well done. It was a wonderful experience. It was the first epic film that I've ever been in. I played Leon de Grance, who was the father of Guinevere. Next one. What was Patrick Stewart's first movie? Funny enough, I was lying in bed this morning thinking about this movie. It was called Hennessy, but it was a movie starring Rod Steiger, and I had a day and a half's work on that film, a very small role, and in it I got shot, I got killed, which is why I was only a day and a half working on that film. What has Europe done for us? Well, in the last 40 years, the European Union has brought economic success to our nation. It has brought open borders where our European families can move backwards and forwards. And it has created a peaceful Europe. But now, utterly misguided and self-interested politicians have taken us out of Europe because they think we should be on our own. It's going to be calamitous. I missed one out. What awards did Patrick Stewart win? I, I've got, I think, three Olivier Awards. Those are theater awards in England. I think two Evening Standard Awards, which are also for theater work. I've had a Tony nomination. The more important question is, what have I not won? Academy Award. I've been nominated for Emmys. I've never got an Emmy. I've been nominated for Golden Globes and never got a Golden Globe. But I would really like a Tony and Academy Award. Anybody who's listening who happens to have any influence in that direction. I'd be grateful. What is Patrick Stewart known for? Being a delightful, good-looking, charming, witty, and generous companion. <laughs> what is Patrick Stewart up to? Well, I had a very exciting morning. My wife's Valentine present was delivered to us. My wife loves ancient olive trees. And so that is what I've given my wife as a Valentine's present. It's now planted in my garden and it's amazing. It is 38 years old. We've given it a name. It's called Valentina. Does Patrick Stewart knit? Oh, yes. <laughs> I did, yes. My mother was a knitter and she taught me how to knit. Does Patrick Stewart have a dog? Presently, no. But about four years ago, my wife and I began fostering something I passionately suggest, if you haven't got a dog, you look into. But foster only from shelters. And the shelter that I foster from, which is called Wags and Walks, here in Los Angeles, it specializes in getting dogs from high-kill shelters. Does Patrick Stewart drink Earl Grey tea? Very occasionally. I drink a tea called Yorkshire Gold. Every morning, that's how my day starts. Does Patrick Stewart own a vineyard? Well, yes, of course. Jean-Luc Picard 
he inherited a vineyard from his family, and now he lives there in our new series. Does Patrick Stewart sing country songs? Well, I do have a modest little album out, oh, recorded maybe three, four years ago. Patrick Stewart sings cowboy classics. Well, if you've made it this far, first of all, congratulations on having such patience or good taste, depending on how you look at it. But I have had a good time, which makes one of us, doesn't it? And I want to thank everybody for inviting me to do this. The only other person I'd seen do this was Paul McCartney. So I feel that I'm in very good company.